Following another health alert, the Florida Department of Health issues a mosquito-borne illness alert for Duval County. Human cases of West Nile virus are confirmed, and there's concern more people will become ill. As Bruce Hamilton shows us, it's an even bigger concern for people enjoying this Labor Day weekend outdoors. The long holiday weekend is expected to bring a lot of people outdoors. It's also expected to bring some rain. Combined, that means mosquito problems. Things as small as a bottle cap can breed hundreds, if not thousands, of mosquitoes. So it's important that you're doing regular checks around your neighborhood and your yard and keeping that standing water drained. Drain water from garbage cans, house gutters, toys, flower pots, or any other containers where sprinkler or rainwater has collected. Discard old tires, bottles, cans, and other items that aren't being used. Empty and clean bird baths and pets' water bowls at least once or twice a week. Protect boats and vehicles from rain with tarps. And maintain swimming pools in good condition and appropriately chlorinated. You'll also want to cover your skin with clothing or repellent. If you think, oh, maybe I've been bitten by a mosquito, that's going to be your first indication is check for bites. Is, you know, do you see any presence of mosquito bites? And then you want to follow up with your doctor. Bruce Hamilton, Channel 4, the local station. The Department of Health will keep us updated on any new cases of West Nile. While most people infected with the virus don't experience any symptoms, in rare cases, those infected may come down with a serious illness affecting the central nervous system. Symptoms include a high fever, vision loss, paralysis, tremors, a coma. For now, there is no vaccine. And we were just talking amongst each other. There's water, standing water everywhere for these mosquitoes. We're the bold new puddle city <laughs> yeah. in the south. <laughs> And the thing is, is that we've had this early season of rain. It started in the middle of May and we had a couple of weeks where we just had like four or maybe five days out of seven dry. But the rest of the weeks have had five out of seven, six out of seven days with rain. And therefore, you know, we've always been able to replenish that, that water supply for the mosquito and for the larvae. And it's bad. Mm. <laughs> it's pretty tough out there. I, it's always I leave my garage doors down now. When I'm working the garage, I don't used to be, ah, oh, let's open up, hey, yeah. buddy, you know, wave my neighbors and everything. <laughs> now I leave them down and I, you know, hunker in there because I don't want the mosquitoes invading in.